Hello and welcome to a demonstration of how to use MinAd in the AMTS ration balancing software. Uh, for those of you who know what MinAd is, you've heard me talk about uh, its magnesium bioavailability and its buffering capacity and how it fits into diets today. So I want to take a minute to show you guys here how to do this and what the economic benefits are and why we believe it's a good fit against uh, the magnesium oxide sources that are out on the market today. So over here on the left, typical diet that's built, uh, and I just wanted to point out that we're going to discuss specifically calcium carbonate, bicarb, magox, and minad today. I have inputted some economic, common economic costs of these uh, ingredients from feed mills into the program, and these total about 14 cents per cow per day. We're feeding a diet that's about 57 pounds of dry matter. So let's jump over here and check out the mineral and vitamin composition of the diet. Calcium's at 1.03%, magnesium's at 0.36. It says it supplies about 29.26 grams of available magnesium. When we talk about MINA, we're speaking specifically about available magnesium. And since this diet, as it currently stands, has only MAGOX in it, I want to uh, mention that uh, the program today in AMTS classifies this ingredient as about 70% bioavailable. So let's go over here to the edit mag magox number. I want you to scroll down and to the mineral and vitamin bioavailabilities and check out what they have for magnesium bioavailability of magox. Uh, we have some good numbers today that show that these the 70% uh, availability is no longer uh, true, and that it's really about half of that at 0.35, and in some cases it's even less. Um, out there so but for uh, a safe uh, for a safe bet you can figure uh, half of what they say it is is available to the cow so you need to change that number to 0.35 and click OK so we come back over here and we see now that this mag level has dropped from what it was down to 19.88 uh, grams so let's change this ration output back over we're going to input minad now and at a quarter pound it will replace MAGOX at 0.11 pounds completely, so we can zero that out. It will also reduce your bicarb requirement by half, so we can pull a quarter pound of that out. And we can drop about 0.14 pounds of calcium carbonate out of this diet to save a little space. So now what you see over here is our cost has dropped from 14 cents to 10 cents. Our dry matter has dropped from 56 or 256 and three quarter pounds from 57. So we picked up a quarter pound of diet space that could be used for amino acids or bypass fat or anything else you might need if it's a tight formulation. But let's just check and make sure that we're able to maintain our mineral levels. So calcium here is still 1.03%. Our mag has now dropped from a crude level of 0.36 to a 0.31. However, on the supply side, if you remember before, we were 19.88 grams, and now we are 19.57, so virtually the same. So this is how you can input MINAD into a diet, maintain the same level of magnesium that is required in the diet, still meet your calcium requirements, and provide some buffering capacity to the diet uh, with MINAD. If you have any other questions about how to use MINAD in diets, feel free to contact any of your Papillon reps. They will be glad to help. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.